Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my channel. In this video, we are going to see pass transistors and transmission gates. So first let us see what is a pass transistor. So if we are using in a circuit NMOS transistor or PMOS transistor alone, then it is called as pass transistor. There is an important characteristics for PMOS transistor, NMOS transistor. That is, if you are using NMOS transistor, means it will act as a perfect switch when passing zero. That means it will pass strong zero, but degraded one. That means weak one. So NMOS transistors passes strong zero and weak one. PMOS transistor. So PMOS transistor has the opposite behavior of NMOS transistor. That is. PMOS transistor pass strong ones but degraded zero. That means in a PMOS transistor when it is in on condition, if we give one as the input means then in the output also you will be getting the same one. There is no degradation in that one. So that only we are saying it is strong one. But in the case if you are giving zero as the input means at the output you won't get the zero. You will be getting a degraded output. So that only we are saying PMOS transistor acts as a perfect switch in passing strong one but it will act as an imperfect switch when passing zeros. Now let us see the operation. So this is for NMOS transistor. This is the symbol for NMOS transistor and this is the symbol for PMOS transistor. So already we have learned for NMOS transistor to make it switch on gate G must be given the value as 1. That is if G is equal to 0 the NMOS transistor is in off state and when G is equal to 1, the NMOS transistor is in on condition. Similarly, PMOS transistor, when G is equal to 0, PMOS transistor is on and when G is equal to 1, PMOS transistor is off. Now, first case is we have to switch on our NMOS transistor. That means we should give the gate value as 1. So, G is equal to 1, the transistor is in on condition. Now, we are giving the input as 0. So, if we give the input as 0, at the output you will be getting a strong 0. That means correct 0 you will be getting at the output. The next case, we are applying the input as 1. So, when we give 1 as input to the NMOS transistor, at the output we won't get 1 value, but we will be getting a lesser value than 1. That means degraded 1. So, NMOS transistor acts as a perfect switch in passing 0 and it acts as an imperfect switch in passing 1. Now, come to the PMOS transistor. So, in PMOS transistor, when G is equal to 0, the PMOS transistor is in on condition. So, at that time, you are giving the input as 0, but at the output, you will be getting a degraded 0. And now, we are giving the input as 1. At the output, you will be getting a strong one. So, PMOS transistor act as a perfect switch in passing 1, but it acts as an imperfect switch when passing 0. So, these are the two important characteristics of PMOS transistor and NMOS transistor. So, if we use PMOS transistor and NMOS transistor separately, we won't get strong 0 and strong 1 at a time. So, that is the problem. So, this problem can be overcome by the use of transmission gates. So, in transmission gates, you will be combining NMOS transistor and PMOS transistor in parallel. So, here at the top, we are having NMOS transistor and at the bottom, we are having PMOS transistor. When we connect these two in parallel, we call this as a transmission gate. So, when we give the input 0, at the output, you will be getting strong 0. When we give the input as 1, at the output you will be getting strong 1. This is due to the PMOS transistor and NMOS transistor. So, this is the main advantage of transmission gate. So, here G and G bar. So, the G bar is nothing but inversion of G. Then A is the input and B is the output. So, first G is equal to 0, G bar is equal to 1. We know the complement of G is G bar. So, if G is equal to 0 means, then definitely GB is equal to 1. So, G is equal to 0 means, this is NMOS transistor. We know when G is equal to 1, the NMOS transistor is switched on. So, now the NMOS transistor is switched off. Similarly, GB equal to 1. So, GB equal to 1 means, again, PMOS transistor also switched off. So, the total transmission gate is in off condition. Now, 
we are get, uh, giving the value G is equal to 1 and GB is equal to 0. Now, the transistors are in on condition because when we give G is equal to 1, the NMOS transistor is in on. At the same time, GB equal to 0 means PMOS transistor also in the on condition. Therefore, now we are giving the input value as 0. So, if we give 0 as the input at the output, you will be getting strong 0. This is due to the NMOS transistor. And when we give the input as 1, at the output, we will be getting strong 1. This is due to the PMOS transistor. So, this is the important advantage of a transmission gate. And these are the schematic symbols of the transmission gates. If we are using transmission gate in a logic means, then it is called as double rail logic. Why we are saying it is double rail logic means, here we are using the control input as well as its complement. So, that only we call it as double rail logic. Then at the same time, you will be getting strong 0 and strong 1 at the output. Therefore, it is also called as fully restored logic. Now, let us see some important multiple choice questions with answers from this topic. First question, switch logic is based on option A, pass transistor, option B, transmission gates, option C, pass transistor and transmission gate and option D, design rules. The correct answer is option C, pass transistor and transmission gates. Next question, when an NMOS or PMOS is used alone as an imperfect switch, then it is called as pass transistor. Next question, an NMOS transistor is almost perfect switch when passing a zero. The transmission gate logic is also called as fully restored logic. Next question, when NMOS and PMOS connected in parallel, then it is called as transmission gate. Next question, a PMOS transistor is an almost perfect switch when passing a 1. I hope you all have understood what is meant by pass transistor and transmission gate. If you like this video, kindly subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thank you.